Hello all you model building enthusiasts out there. This will be my third video on my 116 scale Kenworth W900 Aerodyne. I wanted to uh, catch you up on some of the things that I've gotten and some of the things that I've done. I'm going to swing over here to my frame and I've gotten it two thirds painted. I wanted to leave the center unpainted so that way I can handle it. thought it was a good idea. I'll finish painting it when I've got a lot of the details done. As you can see here I have wheels and tires on it and they're not attached I just wanted to show what it looked like with the wheels and tires on it and also that I have it slightly offset and one of the reasons for this is because the frame measured correctly from front to back with a pair of calipers as far as as far as height but when I put it on a level it showed that it had a slight rake so I just left it alone and with that rake I'll take the wheels off wheels and tires bear with me a moment I had to use a pair of pliers for one of the wheels because it was a little tight. Okay, there we go. Now up here in the front, I've got airbags on it. And this right here, I fabricated myself. And I wanted to make sure the bolts were in the correct place because there was bolts there for this part of the frame. The airbags are all made out of a vacuum hose that I used a grinding wheel to shape them with. It's real rubber. And as you can see, I've gotten a hole drilled here and a hole drilled here for the brake lines. This area here is cleaned up for dual shocks. I'm going to be putting dual shocks on it. And over here, I used hexagon rod, made little bolts for the power steering lines that are going to be going to the reservoir. I'm going to put lines on that. I'm going to swing it around so you can see the top. As you can see, I have holes for the airbags to run airlines to the airbags. Get around this way. This little spot here was a scratch. I gotta, I gotta repair that. And I had something here that looked like it dripped on the paint and ruined the paint a little bit, so I have to rehit that area. Now it's coming around to the back. And there's my transfer cases. I've attached those. And again, these airbags are made out of vacuum line that I shaped. The backs are slightly taller than the fronts as far as the airbags. Because like I said, I, have a do, I do have a slight rake. And come up to the top. Again, I have holes drilled for the airbags. This part right here that's molded onto the plastic, that's an R8 vacuum modulator for the for the brakes. It has six locations where the airlines run into it and out of it, but I only saw three, and I drilled holes out for those three, and I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to put more lines to it.
these little silver painted parts here I also made myself. Uh, that's it pretty much for the frame. The motor over here already painted. Now the color I'm using is a Testers Mono Masters red, bright red, pearl. Certain light it looks a little pink, but I really like the color. There's my power steering reservoir and the fuel line filters. Plan on painting those yellow. Transmission, I'm gonna be painting silver. <clears throat> Here's some parts I got off of a 148 scale MIG. I'm gonna use these as T-pins for the vacuum lines. They actually work pretty well. And here's my drums, they're all painted. And one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video so soon is because of the front brakes. Now, get it in the light. That notch is offset for a reason on this brake drum because it goes onto the shaft on the axle with a tab that's slightly offset. And the reason for this is the positioning and the directions on the brakes. Well, what I found out is that the brakes and the instructions get something so I can point here. This right here is located in the wrong place. It shouldn't be facing the back of the frame. It should be here in the front of the drum, facing the front of the frame. Uh, I've looked at a few photos on the internet and did some cross-referencing, and this is incorrect. Um, and all, most all the photos and references that I've found that this should be in the front. So for all of you out there who plan on building this model, Switch these drums around, they're incorrect. Okay, let's come over to some of the other things that I have here. These are the front shocks. Now I plan on using Alclad Chrome to chrome these. And these are all my lug nuts, my custom wheels. And here's my air conditioner. Now, I showed this I think earlier, but when I put it on top of my sleeper, it's kind of large. So I've decided not to use it. I'm going to fabricate my own box style air conditioner and make it like half the size of this. And some of you truckers know that, you know, the older trucks had a box style looking air AC unit. And here's my wing that I've primered and sanded and gotten nice and smooth. And here's some test parts for my Alclad. And I've gone over the internet a few times and YouTube and read some articles and looked at some videos. And I'm finally getting to a point where I feel comfortable using this stuff. Because this was my first attempt. Uh, this side was done with white. It was a little bit br more brilliant than this. I've been handling this a bit. so that's the white side and then I turn around and use the black side and as you can see my black side didn't work out so well here's the line I plan on using um, right. anyway I believe that's it that's everything I've gotten done so far the wheel I stuffed with styrofoam and I found that from an article it fills out the wheel makes it look a little bit more like it's full of air and when you put the rim on the tire it helps to bring the Get it back on here correctly. Yeah. Anyway, that should be up against the, the wheel. 
It's a little bit better. Here's one probably without it. Doesn't look right. I read that in an article. Oh, one other thing. <clears throat> I found these, excuse me, <clears throat> I found these on eBay, car modeler from 1990, and these cover the detailing these 116 scale trucks, right here, right here, this one here covers the motor, I'm flip right to it, how to wire the motor. And this one here covers how to wire the air brakes and the air ride system. Plus it also has an extra page on doing an extra wheel on the, on the frame. I also found some information on the internet about doing an air ride seat and wiring a transmission. They're not in these magazines, but I plan on using that information. So that's basically it. That's all I've gotten so far. Until next time, hope you enjoyed the video.